All right, shadow readings. Let's see who we got next. Aries, feminine. Here we go. All right, we're going to get to a shadow card. We're going to get to an earth magic card. We're going to read the 3D, 4D, 5D, evolving around the issues with this shadow and how it could be blocking you. And we're going to get you a couple of advice cards. And, uh, yeah. That is what we'll be doing. Let me move that off that stop button. So I have to shut myself off before, I believe, on your reading. Alrighty, Aries. What is the shadow that feminine Aries are dealing with? Femin divine feminine Aries. What is their shadow? Oh, I got two. I got pride in a cage and anger in chains. Woo! Pride in a cage and anger in chains. Feeling trapped. Feeling tricked. Feeling owned. All right, let's get you some earth magic on how to deal with these shadows. So I'm mixing that bride in the cage and the anger in chains. I know Aries does not like having power taken away from them. I feel like that's making you feel pretty powerless when you're railing against it, right? I just got that song, Whatever It Takes. I love how it feels when I'm breaking the chains. Ooh, dragonfly emergence. I do feel like you are already on the verge of battling these shadows. All right, let's get your 5D. What is going on on your 5D energy line? What is going on on your 5D energy line with your 5D peeps? Let's see what's going on for Aries coming in on the 5D line. All day. One more time. One more time. Aries, feminine. What's going on on your 5D? Okay, that is nice and pretty. Mine. What's going on on your 40 line? Aries, feminine, what's on your mind? Aries, feminine, what's going on on your 40 line? On your mind and those that you are closely connected to, what's going on on the 4D line? Aries, feminine, greedy line, what's going on around you? What's going on? What's deceptive? What's the narrative? What's being portrayed? What does everybody see? What is going on on your physical 3D? All right. On your physical 3D line. Man, I can't help but say it. Alright, I'm sorry, but this is how it's going to be. Right. You got the Jack of Hearts. You got the Jack of Swords here. What? Yeah. Cat Water. Yeah, I got air. Princess. Princess. That you are recuperating from. Being torn in between these two. In conflict. In conflict. What? Divine soul connections. Right? Divine soul connections. Feeling like there's a constant battle going on between these two energies. Alright. I feel like you feel in your mind that you are in your power right now. That's kind of how you get yourself stuck in these situations. Is with being within your power. I do see that you're not really seeing the message and the lesson here to get the rite of passage to cross through over that boundary of that general conflict that's going on there. Your bride in the cage, anger and chains, right? I do see instead of focusing on that, that you are focusing more on building your skills, building your skills, overcoming addictions and things like that, and overindulgence gaining some control and moderation over your things that you indulge in focusing really on you that is the high priestess energy grounding and focusing on you and your healing and you're like you know what that's a lot of drama i'm just going to focus on me 
I'm not really into this right now. I really need to work on me. I'm sorry, I'm Aries female, so being a little bit cocky with it. You can't help it, you can't help it. All right, but I will call myself out with these cards, have no doubt. All right, though, Aries Femme, you see where your passion truly lies. Your third eye is dead on. Don't let anybody tell you you are wrong. You are being pulled in the right direction, but you have dealt with some situations where your energy was massively abused on the 5D level. Your energy was massively abused on the 5D level, okay? Cardinal fire energy, cardinal fire feminine energy is almost irresistible. Only place that's more irresistible than the 3D is the 5D and someone did not do equal give and take of your energy and you are recuperating still on that on the 5D level. Do not feel bad. You take all the time you need to recuperate from this abuse of your energy, right? You are focusing on protecting and maintaining your energy and learning how to build those shield bubbles so that that no longer happens to you. All right, what can we do about this anger and change of bride in the cage shadow feeling stuck? I feel like you're stuck in one relationship, still debating about a what have, woulda, coulda, shouldas with other relationships, things of that nature, these divine soul connections. I understand the difficulties with that, with it being an Aries fire energy myself. We make really strong soul connections and it makes it very hard to discern what's what. So no, honey, I do not blame you for being like, all right, you know what? I'm just going to focus on this for right now. Right. I really see you maintaining your own nurturing energy, defending you and yours, but I do see an inevitable tower is coming. And why not? You should want this tower to come. You should be actively kicking it over yourself. If this is how you feel, trapped and in a cage, you should be setting the damn thing on fire yourself and rising from the damn ashes, emerging as a transformed dragonfly or phoenix, right? All right, Aries Feminine, I believe that is the all the messages you need to hear today for sure um, I love y'all very very much you are my sisters in this world blessed be all of y'all that walk these weird and twisted paths with me I love you guys very much if this helped you out buttons bells let me know that you liked it I'm gonna be back with you real soon I promise